the second of the second hand stores of ISL Media. This one's considerably bigger than the first one. Uh, I've included some video coverage so you can get sort of an idea of the massive scale of this. This is all uh, manned by volunteers and it's all furniture and items which have just literally been donated by supporters, friends, family and indeed members of the public. So it's a massive fundraiser for ISL Media. Um, so let's have a quick look around and see what you think. Two days of travelling, we've eventually reached uh, the ground for IS Helmia here in the heart of Hampstead. I have to admit, uh, it looks very, very impressive. And I'm certainly looking forward to, to the match later on uh, this afternoon. We're also going to be picking up on some of the academy training as well, so hopefully we'll get an insight into that as well. Here we are on the pitch at IS Helmy. I must admit, it's like a carpet underneath me. Great facilities. Uh, what I wasn't aware of, however, until I actually arrived today, was the fact that uh, Helmy actually ground share this facility with a much larger club in Halmstead Football Club, who play in the Premier League here in Sweden. Uh, Halmstead would attract around about 4,500 people to an average match, whereas Helmy only attracts around about 250, which is more sort of our sort of level. Uh, but uh, the clubs show to show the facilities between them. We are very fortunate enough earlier on to catch up with uh, some of the, the members of staff of Halmstead Football Club and they very kindly gave us a quick guided tour behind the scenes off the ground and they also uh, let us have a quick chance to chat with their head of the Youth Academy and also the guy who, who is the head coach of the youth team as well. Here's how we get on. Part of the visit here today, we're here to see mainly uh, IS Halmia, however, they do ground share with, uh, I'm told, the bigger club, which is Halmstead Football Club. I'm joined today by two of their coaches who look after the Youth Academy, so maybe, John, you'd like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm uh, Joan Bergstrom, I'm the head coach of the Under-19. Okay. Yes. And yourself? Uh, my name is Robert Nordstrom, I'm the Academy Manager for, for the club. Okay. I've been uh, the Under-19 coach for almost 20 years before. But now I've resigned and you are is <laughs> <laughs> taking up. You've been involved a long time with it, Yeah, club. that's right. Yeah, so it's part of your life now very much. And you've been long you've been involved now? I've been in the club for seven years now. Okay. First as an assistant coach for under fifteen. Right. And then I've uh, followed them up okay. to sixteen and seventeen okay. as an head coach. And now it's my first year as an under nineteen head coach. You're very young. Yeah, I'm pretty young, yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is the way football's gone. So in terms of achievements, what, what, what's your aims and what are you hoping to achieve, do you hope to achieve then as coaches at the club? Or? Well, my only hope is to, to bring forward uh, a lot of players to our first team. That's my only ambition okay. uh, with my work. And uh, Halmstad uh, is uh, quite a good club mm -hmm. producing your own players. So okay. I'm happy to be here because uh, you can see the result. Right. On the on the stadium, because okay. you see the young players you've coached okay. playing for the first team now. And that's, okay. that's great. One player who came through the ranks, uh, which will be notable to 
British audience is Freddie Lindbergh, who played here. Was he a young player here, or was he a, an older player when he was playing here? He, he started playing here when he was five years old. Right, okay. And uh, right through the ranks, uh, I have coached him for one and a half year in the under-19s. Okay. But that was pretty quick uh, moving for him up to the first team. And then he went up to play with the Swedish national team and yeah. was sold for, sold to Arsenal for yes. our biggest fee ever, about three and a half million pounds, yeah. I think. Small change. Small <laughs> change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentlemen, listen, that's fine. That's just a break on you today. Thanks very much for taking the time to talk to me. I would, yeah, but you already know. I hate myself when I let you let go. Cause I don't care what you said to me when you said you needed to, to breathe. And now I'm all alone. Where did you go? Where did you go? I'm so glad that you're home.